Okay, let's move out. We're on a ticking clock here. Perfect symmetry. The two snipers remain. They will move into the Tibetan ruins to get revenge on their friend Maddox, who's branded them out to the Russian spy. And, uh, welcome to the History Channel. Uh, yeah, History Channel. Definitely known for not actually doing pretty much anything to do with history. Uh, but hello there. A little bit more of a rela- oh, god damn it. A little bit more of a relaxing welcome in. Just listen to the sounds of the river. And, uh, you know, my name is Riled Raylo. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, but it's about to get real fuzzy up in here, so... Put on your warm jackets and, uh, hopefully whip out whatever body part you so choose is best for whipping out. Uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to walk past these two fools and then we'll take him out. Nice shot. Oh, thank you, Diaz. I appreciate that. We'll do another headshot just to take out the last guy. Finish him off nice and easy. And, um, so welcome in, newcomers. My name is Ryle Raylo. Feel free to call me Raylo. I love it when you do that shit. Uh, it feels good. And we're just going to glide across this uh, clear, this here bridge, cre created by Tibetans in the year 1843. Um, and, and actually, it was a defense for, uh, you know, the Americans who raided... I'm just talking out of my ass, but uh, we'll go into this cut screen. And hopefully, you can forget all about that. Um, I would love to have you... Uh, let me know what you think of these videos if you're new. Uh, let me know how you got here and all that garbage. And I mean like on Earth, not to the video, of course. Uh, that is pretty much a given. So we are now under fire from Maddox, man. Mr. Trader himself. We are going to uh, do a citizen's arrest and hopefully get him for treason. But my guess is we'll probably end up doing a sweet-ass headshot on this guy. Um, he's talking to us now. I guess we're dead, which is, you know, sort of an oxymoron, or if you are a paradox, I guess we're alive, so how can we be dead if we're alive? Maddox, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna get you. And this is actually gonna be pretty close to the end of the game here. I'm thinking this might actually be the last episode, um, depending on how much I want to push this. Uh, we're gonna go take the lower road here. I'll let him, Diaz, take the high road. Yeah? Plus one for high road maids? Nah. Anyway. Still getting shot at. This guy is probably the worst sniper of all time, despite the fact that he's like a professional sniper. Anyway, we're gonna uh, crawl our way into safety and hopefully not get killed by open space. Watch him break through this wood. Oh, throwing smoke. Popping smoke. Alright, let's get our shit together here and sprint our way through. Faster than Usain Bolt, faster than Tyson Gay. We will glide like Roadrunner, yes sir, that is where I went. And you better stick with it, honey. Oh my god, I can feel the closeness of this Maddox, man. I'm gonna frickin' just stab him in the face. Uh, actually, I'd prefer to shoot him. It'd be more epic of a gameplay perspective sort of thing. We got a couple guys here. I'm gonna take out Mr. Sniper first. Oh, we've gone loud. We're gonna blow up this fuel tank. That's going to do pretty much absolutely nothing. Alright, so now that we've been hit a few times, let's take out the guy that seems to be uh, fixed on advancing on us. Can I get a double shot in, please? Okay, we died. I pressed Q right as we died. So, you know, clearly that is not... Ty goes to the runner on that one. Anyway, we are going to attempt that again. Hopefully we can do this without being seen. That would be ideal, at least. I think if we take out the sniper first, that's probably not going to be the best. Um, so what we're going to do instead is blow up this jerry can, is what he described it as. They're on to us, man. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, distraction enough, if you will have it. Uh, we'll take out Mr. Sniper Guy. Seems to be fixed on laying in the grass for whatever reason. But I'll look past it if he can look past my ability to shoot him in the face. Freaking asshole. Oh, let's queue up here. I just want to make sure I don't die here again. That would really be a detrimental to our success in this game, and I don't want to be doing this multiple times. Oh, a headshot randomly out of nowhere. I'd like to just pull the trigger, man. I'm pretty good when I'm just randomly shooting. I let my instincts kick in, and, you know, sniper ghost warrior, man. Survival instincts. That's just how it goes, I guess. That was like a really tiny fire. 
sort of a letdown on that uh, explosion there. A little bit of marijuana leaves going on here. How many marijuanas can I have? I don't know. Uh, we will ignore that lack of knowledge towards marijuana and take out some multiple snipers on the roof. Oh, there's one. Oh, not two. I'll take you out. Yeah, that's right. Like a first date, maybe a little dinner. I don't really like doing dinner on a first date. I'd rather do something more fun like rock climbing or, or skipping rocks on a here, nice on. bed of water. A little more romantic. You can say that it's really windy out and she'll be like, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. And then I'll be like, yeah, I know. This is really crazy, huh? And she'll be like, what? And I'll be like, I don't know. That, that's how my first dates go. And then usually I don't know how second dates go, so... There's the story of my life. <clears throat> well, uh, whoa, he's got us in the crosshairs. Oh, and he takes him out. Okay, what the heck? Let's see if you really got the balls to pull that trigger. As you wish. See you on the other side, Cole Anderson. If I see you first. Well, I, oh my gosh, I'm like super confused, man. That guy like made an attempt to save my life. I think he just wanted me to like, he like, he's just not bold enough, I guess. We're gonna help my teammate out here. Hopefully we don't get seen by anybody. Uh, that could be very unfortunate for us. Oh, that was right through his arms, man. Come on. The wind should have taken him off. If I can uh, express my knowledge of sniper rifles at all. Pretty sure, like, that wind actually can cut off limbs. Like, it. Uh, I saw something. I can't remember if it was a video or if it was um, fake. Or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, wow, what is going on? Satirical, that's the word I'm... I don't even know what happened there. I got sniped, I'm pretty sure. Maddox, man, you son of a bitch. He's Sly Cooper, all up in this. Okay, well, we're going to go through this really stupid cutscene again. So, I'm going to skip. And uh, I saw this video on, like, sniping, I'm pretty sure, and it was like, you know, the winds from sniper bullets are, like, super deadly and can actually take off limbs. Oh shit, man! I'm so screwed. I'm a, I'm a sitting duck. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm about to get killed. Sweet, precious med kit, man. I'm so thankful for your presence in this game. All right. So yeah, the the wind from a sniper bullet, like it goes so fast that if it were like clipped by your ear, or by your arm, or something, um, it actually has the power to fucking just straight murder your ass. I don't know where the hell I'm getting shot from. I'm not really listening to anything. Oh, he's way up there. Okay, uh, we will pop out here. And hopefully, we can snipe this guy. Right between the eyes. Oh, I guess we're just sniping some barrels. Sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the dialogue in this game is so prime, man. They're talking like I can't. Oh, what was the word they used? It was like bollocks. No, it was a. It was a pretty snafu. That's what it was. They used snafu. Freaking odd choice of vocab for a military game, but it was in all caps. So I'm thinking it might be like foobar. It might stand for something like shit, nip tuck. Let's move. Asshole. Fuck you. That's what snafu stands for, by the way. Go ahead and look it up on Urban Dictionary, it's true, I dare you. Fact check me, man. Alright, so we're gonna take out some serious um, Russians here. Oh, we got a little friend playing the Toaster 2 over here. Okay, sniper down. Blackhawk is coming next. So, we will take out his buddy, who seems to be taking a smoke break. Man, that is like the worst way to do things in life. Like, if you ever take a smoke break, you're probably gonna get killed. As long as you're uh, part of the military, I'm not exactly sure what the statistics are on that, but I'm pretty sure it's like close to 100%. At least in my lifetime it is, so. We're gonna wade through a pond here, and I don't know what happened to Maddox, man. He was up there somewhere, and, you know, whatever, I guess that's fine. So we'll press the glorious F button, which uh, seems to be a David Guetta song. I just want to F goes through the entire alphabet it's like uh, that's how I learned the alphabet I don't know what you guys learned it from but uh, certainly didn't learn it in daycare man I was fucking 17 when I learned the alphabet alright so now we've re-upped fantastic and 
we should be able to take out Maddox here is my guess. We're going to press no F to set up, which we seems sort of odd because he didn't even set up the tripod, but... We need to get those Whatever, yo! Gonna whip out the Binox. Ah, my favorite tool of all. Check. Is that guy Second looking at us? To the right of the statue. Oh, shit. Okay, who are we taking out first, man? Let's take out these guys first. Oh, gravity is not my friend today. Okay, he's done. And this guy way over here. He's out. Oh, and five shots will do it. I missed one. And then I was able to just figure out my friend Gravity over here. And uh, G-Force is on my side. I like it. I like it. Well, that's a weird spot. A shit ton of more Gravity over here. Maybe it's a uh, further distance. Oh, God. I can't see anybody. Where is he? I'm looking uh, where he should be. I wish I could zoom out. That would be fantastic, please. Oh, God. Where's he at, Brosif? I think he's so far away that I just can't see him. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. How can I look this much? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know where I'm supposed to be shooting. Target him, please. Diaz, you're supposed to be my spotter. What is up with that? Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Hold on, Diaz, I'll be there in a minute. Just had to check out some sweet Tibetan uh, rituals over there. And let's re-up on this shit. Alright. Now we can set up. We're going to redo this. I'm probably not going to miss a single goddamn shot. As long as gravity is the same as it was before. Uh, I wish I could skip on this shit, but that's alright. Drinking game for you. Every time I say shit, take a shot. Actually, you could probably do it with beer because I say shit so much, but... Regardless. Alright, we're taking out these guys first. Headshot on one, and quickly snipe over here. I don't think he even got a shot off on his mortar. He did put it in, but, uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, see, there is one sniper. Please, tell me where he is. I really need to know. 12 o'clock, 700 meters. There you go. There was a small line on him, but like, how am I supposed to see that? It's not like I'm looking through a scope or anything. Come on. Oh, shit. I'm totally going to fail this, man. I really wish I could zoom out. That'd be so much better. I'm getting this bullet cam back to back to back to back, man. This is fantastic. Okay. 1,000 meters. Oh, gosh. This is a lot of pressure. Okay, I don't think he's that high up. Uh, there he is. You're done. Sit down, coach. Put him on the bench. Actually, just kick him off the team for that matter. Okay, we should have a couple more guys here. He's over this way a bit. And we're just going to go up and down. He's not quite there. Oh, gosh. Where is this guy, man? Shouldn't be that far down. If they're bringing in snipers, they should be coming from like doorways and shit, but I don't see him. Where is he? Where is he? I, oh, that was supposed to be him. That should have been him right there. In the window? To the wall? I mean, I just can't see these guys. I feel a little bit cheated, to be honest. But at least we have a checkpoint. That's awesome. Alright, so now we can actually find this guy, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can zoom out! Oh, fantastic! There you are! Okay, where'd you go? Pop your head out. I dare you. Oh, come on, man. He's totally screwing me up. Oh, no! I missed! I missed! I missed! I missed! Come on. Okay. Do it again. I dare you. I dare you. Where you at, son? Shit! Wow! Bollocks, man! I'm not even from the Great Britain Islands, but uh, that pissed me off. Okay, we're gonna zoom out, because I got some uber tactics now. Oh! Right between the eyes! That's definitely not where I hit him, but whatever, man. I'll take it. 
We're gonna record that one down on my notepad. I'm actually writing shit down right now. Freaking Anderson one, Raylo one, Carl Maddox zero. Suck on my wiener. I'm gonna actually watch the last cutscene here because I think this is pretty close to the goddamn end of the game. What's that? Bad choice of company. One I'll never make again. You got anybody waiting for you back home? Right, who is my best friend? This is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fighting, this is for fun. That's exactly what he was gonna do when he gets home, and then he'll probably masturbate to it or something. I don't know. He seems like that kind of person with those eyes. You can see it, man. You can see the tension building up between him and his rifle. And fade out helicopter? Is that really the... Okay, that's the end of the game, so... Major lack of story on that part. Um, Russians are attacking. We get some uh, teammates from uh, what's his face? You know, our our friend Maddox, and he's a traitor. And then we go and get revenge. So uh, that's Sniper Ghost Warrior Two for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. This is fantastic. Uh, each and every one of you. If you do uh, enjoy this stuff, feel free to come over to my channel. I will welcome you warm with a hug and maybe an umbrella. Um, as long as it is raining over here, which it probably is. And, uh, anyway, I will see you guys on the other side of the circle. Uh, I'll be coming out with uh, a new Let's Play pretty soon here. I don't know exactly what, but I'd love to hear suggestions. So, see you on the other side.